Hey guys, welcome back again. Today I want to do a little chat about my door installation setup that I've got. I've got it in one of these T-Lock Sys Combis. I got this when they had that little oopsie on uh, Amazon. Bought a whole bunch of these for a real bargain. Anyway, mine's all stickered up from Tool Nut. But anyway, this is my little setup. Put this together for doing doors. Got a door down here in the bottom, and I'll try to show a little bit of. Pull a few of these things out to talk about some nice tool bits and pieces a while ago. But I figured while I'm all set up here, might as well go ahead and show this off as well. Because this is my for doing doorknob installations, people who need to add on a deadbolt after the fact, they bought a single bore door and now they need more security or didn't know or whatever. I like to be able to have everything together. So I run the DeWalt 20 volt router, have the Linux drill set up for boring new doorknob sets right here. Anyway, have those set in the corner. A little glue for if you get any tear out while you're working on that. The, the Ryobi jig. I know, horrible color for me, but there you go. It's actually not that bad. I don't know why nobody else makes a decent one of these that you don't have to drill holes in a finished door to use. This is just perfect. It wouldn't take much to make this thing... A, a great tool if they if it could just be you know maybe make a professional version of it with some aluminum or something boy if woodpecker sees it it'll be be up there a ways on it anyway it'd be kind of cool though i bet i'd have to have one of course my 20 volt dewalt router is in there set in the plunge base the plunge base is really nice when you're doing those i keep a, a patterning bit from freud in there uh, really easy to follow is it's got all those LEDs in the bottom of the base and I can just trace out exactly what I want. Uh, I do keep my router uh, inserts for my woodpecker's router plates in here because a lot of times when I'm doing doors I have my router table set up at the same time. Router table wrenches from Wood River, some long extensions and things like that. CMT pattern bits. I like CMT bits quite a bit. They actually make a decent decent few. I have a, a deeper Freud top bearing bit there. Kind of nice if you're actually doing the the hole for the bolts to go through. Instead of drilling that, you can just take your router and route it perfect. That way when you go to lock it again and, you, and you're playing with fine tuning it, you can just easily take your router and adjust just a little bit. Where if you did it with a hole saw, you know, like uh, the ones that come with the door install sets, these little Linux deals, these are for doing the bore on the door, but they fit, so you can just do this in the wall as well for the hole for the bolt to go into. However, if you're doing it with one of these, and say this side you got a little wrong, the door won't quite get there, you can just take your router and just barely touch it and now your door closes. So I really like doing it with a router bit. I keep a, a laminate trimmer bit in here too from CMT. It has the triangular uh, guide on it. And it has a like a two or three degree angle on the edge on the bit so that you end up getting that little recess on the edge of your laminate countertops. I keep that on, on board as well. Uh, let's see what else we got in here. Loads of drill bits and things, because you never know what you're running into doing doors, as well as this is kind of a, my bit drawer. Step bits, uh, DeWalt step bits, impact driver bits, lots of little Centratech pieces. Extra center tech chucks, Phillips bits, whatnot. Center tray on this drawer is all uh, oscillator blades. Go through a lot of those. And to me, I haven't noticed a great deal of difference between these and the actual ones from DeWalt at Lowe's. I just get these on Amazon, and I think I end up paying around a buck a blade. And I want to say... DeWalt ones are pushing 10. 
So that's one spot where I do it a little cheaper. Little set of Festool drill bits here, Centratech, uh, three, four, five, six, and eight millimeter go right in the Centratech chucks. These are like 44 bucks for a set. Very sharp, very sharp, nice brad point bits. I mean, these are some of my most used little bits. Real sharp flutes, nice point. They just don't chip out. For doing things like kitchen door handles and whatnot, oh yeah. Doing the holes through a bifold door to put the pull knobs on. You don't have to worry about blowing it out, getting a, a roughed up mess after it's already been finished. My right angle attachments are in here. One Surefire, I got a Surefire Defender in there. And let's see, a bunch of Sharpies. And of course, kind of squeeze in the back there is Eccentric Chuck for fast. Well, is that an eccentric? No, 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 that's not an eccentric. This is the Chuck for the T18 uh, Festool Impact. This turns it into a drill. So if you put this on, it switches from an impact to a drill. Anyway, that's what that is. And I like to carry a little stack, and they have little uh, 3M self-adhesive papers between them, those neodymium magnets, rare earth magnets from Amazon. These can be ridiculously handy. Had one, the, had an issue the other day. We were, uh, I'd gone to do a sewer clean out with a snake and uh, rolled up there and got set up. We were snaking from the septic tank back and clip, went to clip on the end to the snake and I dropped it in the septic tank. Isn't that awesome? Anyway, took one of these, actually just took one of these and took a self-adhesive thing for it and stuck it on the back of a shovel. One of these, and by the way, that's four of them right there. That's a stack. One of these is stuck to the back of a shovel, reached out of there, picked that heavy twist bit for a rigid K1500, if you know what those are, the bigger K2500, the K2500, the big stand machine sectional. Anyway, heavy bit, picked it right up, brought it right back to me, back to business, threw the magnet away after that, but yeah, it'd been on a bad trip. Anyway, I keep a stack of those in here. They're also amazing stud finders. If you're ever hunting for a stud in a wall, you can find the drywall screws with the rare earth magnets. It's just really easy to do that way. Magnets, screws, nails, whatever, you can locate them, just no problem that way. Anyway, I like them for that. But that's kind of what's in my door installation kit. Uh, I'm gonna grab the camera here so, and we'll actually let you take a good look as soon as we set this back in here. And, uh, see what you think of the little doodads I use there. Here's the, here's the drawer and what's in it. Lots of little bits and pieces right there. Loads of goodies. Not quite as organized as I normally am, but has everything I need in there. And then here's in the top. This part's fairly organized. I use it constantly. This is a very common job in this line of work. Anyway, there it is. Here's the... I semi like my stickers. <laughs> anyway, tool nut hooks you up every time you order, so I end up with a lot of a lot of bling on my sustainers. But anyway, uh, thanks for coming by. Thanks for watching, and hopefully, I don't give you too many ideas of more tools to buy. Too many people are saying they have to go buy something after they watch a video. But that's the little set I use for doing doors and whatnot. I do use one of the. Um, uh, they're made by the same people that made the jaw horse thing. They have a jaw stand that flips up on its side. If you stick one of those on the end when you're mortising a door, and I think I have it set up that way on the video I made of that router and hinge template set, I believe I have a video a few back on that, you'll see that jaw stand. That is the one addition to this that just makes it perfect. But Hopefully we can do a video one day of using this and, and routing in some doors. But thanks a lot for coming by, guys. Thanks for being here. Thanks for your likes, subscribes, and all that. 
We'll catch you all on the next one.